Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inkson, I'm from my Justin Tron. So today we're going to be checking out at the CB, what's the numbers? 1241 RS485 communications card or signal board, whichever way you want to call it. This guy plugs in front of the, the uh, in front of the uh, S1200 series PLC. It's a sort of a, a card that if you uh, by any chance need a uh, need for RS485 uh, communications uh, or whatever you're trying to do with it, you don't have to buy the, uh, the, the there's a special separate unit, which you're going to be checking out in the upcoming videos as well. So, but, so you can have a, a small signal board like that that will be connecting to your uh, PLC from the top. So, uh, so yeah, in particular application we're going to be doing today, we're going to be setting this card up to communicate with S1200 series, uh, series PLC and our V20 Siemens drive. So using USS bus uh, commun uh, communications. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. It's going to be a two part video. I wanted to do one, but then, I, then the video was stretching out too much because I want to talk quite a bit more about this. So I, it will be two parts. It'll be part one and part two. Part one is going to be the wiring and setting up the drive. And second part is going to be more as to uh, have a look at the program, how to set that up in a, a TI portal. And uh, obviously we're going to do live test. So that's what we're going to do today. So all the related manuals and anything I do believe will go into in any possible way is going to be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> Here we are, so the card's already plugged in and as always I always remind the people to make sure the controller is always off when you put this card in, otherwise you will short circuit the, 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 some, uh, some plugs or pins in there in a actual controller and this part will no longer be able to function. So do make sure that uh, card when you plug in at these uh, what they call the combination uh, signal units, uh, make sure that BLC is off. So we are going to be following uh, this diagram which is going to be in the manual description below. And if you are new to RS485 connections, as you can see down there, you only really need two cables for it. So uh, two cables to communicate. But as you can see, there's like a, a TB connected to it and TA connected to it. And then everything is just self-explanatory. And right in here, in, in, in the end of the, if you have more drives, yeah, you have a thing called a bus terminator in here. So, uh, and again, not necessarily needed but it is uh, 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 recommended by Siemens to have it. And the reason they put this diagram in here because they have safeguarded, uh, safeguarded you from having any uh, issues with uh, the, the network in case there's some form of EMC interferences and your line could possibly drop off if uh, none of these uh, things has been implemented. So, and, and, and these protections in here. So basically these are there to protect your line for EMC interferences. So as you can see down here, M is your earth, uh, and a TA will join up to the TRA, which uh, which uh, which is our first uh, first RS four five cable, which is A cable usually, and and then we got a B cable with the RB, and the TB in there joins up with a. Uh, uh, a TRB as well and RTS for different type of connections so we're not going to be looking at that one today at all. So that's pretty much that it is also as you can see down here in a, in a diagram they are running the, the 24 volt negative out of the PLC to the actual uh, uh, motor in here into the zero. Uh, I'm not sure what that is completely for again it can function without it must be something to do again with protection or a standard they uh, want these things to be and happen for this particular card. So that's pretty much how uh, this card is wired. So next up let's jump on to the uh, drive and set up the drive for ready for communicating with this card. There we are. So uh, before we start uh, cracking on with actual parameters itself, so uh, as you can see in here, I have my uh, bus terminator in here. You can buy these separately from a uh, uh, Siemens itself. And uh, I'm not sure. You, hopefully, when you really increase the video, you can really see. It actually says in here N minus P plus and there's a zero and a 10 in here. So sort of it, it actually shows you exactly where each cable goes and you can really see that again in a manual as well. So, so one goes in 10 volts in here, other one goes for the zero volts, exactly the same zero volts which comes down from the PLC, goes in the same uh, point. So, uh, and, and then as you can see down there, P plus and uh, N minus, which, which P plus will be coming from a um, 
uh, people uh, from T uh, P plus will be coming from T R B and P minus is going to be coming from uh, T R A. So uh, so yeah, that's pretty much how this setup would be. And uh, you only need one bus terminator per uh, bus network. So uh, so uh, you just just to point that out. So all the other drives will not need it because that is is part of the same uh, network. So uh, from there on, once we've done that, we need to uh, sort of a uh, set up a drive and the best way to set up a drive is as soon as does recommend to start from scratch to reset your drive guys if you haven't seen how to reset your drive uh, to, uh, from zero do check out my other v20 videos where we do talk about a complete uh, factory uh, reset so or, or also you can go into manual and find the page like that which is in the description below which will give you a good understanding step-by-step -step guide how to a uh, set up your uh, drive uh, from a their uh, proposed uh, way. So my page is quite dirty, don't know why. So uh, the first thing what we're gonna need to do, we need to change our macro. And to change the macro, just hold it for a uh, two seconds. You will see P, uh, P100, click it again, and, and then uh, you're gonna see CN, most likely when I reset, you're gonna be in CN000. So just go to the CN010, uh, uh, which is a tent uh, macro, which is for the USS bus. So, and, and then they click and hold a uh, uh, M uh, to save it. It will run A8 and we're obviously, I'm already in it. So, and um, from there on, you need to make sure that you are, uh, not that one, uh, you are in, no, not that one. Click it, uh, click it quickly, so one click, as you can see, I'm already in a 2010. That would be the first parameter you'd look at, but for, uh, for you to get to th these 2000s, you need to make sure that you are, uh, your uh, password, your uh, access level is at three, which is in parameter, I'll show that in a minute, should have done that from the start. So, there we go, if you go into parameter three, uh, make sure that is on three. So, and there on you should be able to access all the necessary uh, parameters. Uh, obviously, there's a fourth level as well, but uh, three is required for you to access the the uh, all the uh, this this particular set of parameters. So, uh, the first one we're going to be checking out it's ooh, number ten. Number ten is going to be your uh, your. Uh, Bold rate and that bold, uh, bold rate, bold rate. Uh, I don't know, is that saying right? I don't know. So, bold rate is pretty much the speed it will communicate. So, uh, I'm on a uh, third uh, eight, which stands for uh, 38,400. It, it, it works well for me, but sometimes, uh, sometimes in some systems, uh, you uh, that rate is going to be too fast, so you need to come down. So, uh, uh, by default, it's six. Keep it at six, which is 9,600. You do need to remember this number because you're gonna to need to enter this number in a minute when we're gonna be setting up USS port. So I'll, I'll do that at eight, but by default six, and you can keep it at six. Just remember that you did keep it at six. So uh, you can uh, show that in a minute, uh, or probably in the next video. I'm not sure how far we are gonna be with this video. We're gonna show how to set up the ports in the actual uh, PLSTI portal. So from there on is gonna be your uh, 2011, which starts for USS address. That's pretty much is, a, is a address of your drive. So you can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. By default, it's always gonna be at one. So it's, I am using only one drive. The address for this one is gonna be one. So uh, the next drive will be two, three, four, five, six. So that's pretty much where you enter your address. Uh, from there on, you're gonna be a, uh, what, they, what they think called a PK, uh, w length. This is the this is the one that uh, you not that one. This one. There. This is the one you need to make sure it uh, it is at four. By default, this is 127. So do make sure that is at four. So uh, and the last one is no. That's it. That's pretty much all we need to do. So 23. But I think 23 is usually already by default, it is on one, so you don't have to worry about that's a protocol selection. So, uh, and that's it when it comes down to drive. So the drive pretty much is, and then you can uh, click uh, M and save all the parameters. So that's pretty much there. So uh, next thing is uh, we're gonna uh, jump and have a look at that uh, on the actual laptop itself. 
Actually, having said that, we are out of time. So for the setup, because the setup is on the TI port that was a bit lengthy as well, but I need to talk about in details and then obviously show you how that works. So we're gonna leave that in the next video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the if you like it. So yeah, do subscribe if you uh, like what we're doing here. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in part two.